Hey! Yo, what's going on, Boo Bears? You're tuning in to another exciting episode of It's Just Mario. And I'm Mario Ramon, your host. And today, we are talking about looking back. Looking back on your life and just looking back and seeing things that you are thankful for. And I'm grateful for. And even when, when there have been instances where you could have even possibly been dead and you're alive now to talk about it. So, today is looking back. All right. Uh, looking back for me, um, I just want to talk about more happy things looking back. And um, you can talk about whatever you would like to talk about when you comment. Um, definitely, please feel free to talk about looking back in your life and seeing, you know, some pleasant memories and or things that, ha you know, have happened to you or maybe an achievement that you reached um, whether it's getting your degree, master's, PhD, or something. Just something looking back. Looking back. Okay? So look back and give it to me the way I like it. Okay? So, but looking back for me. Um, I used to love waking up on Saturdays as a child. And I guess I probably was about nine years old or so. But um, waking up waiting on the Flintstones to come on and I knew that I was going to be eating pancakes and drinking orange juice. That is my favorite to this day. Or you can give me a donut and orange juice or honey bun and orange juice, okay? Those are the combination. Oh, don't forget about French toast and waffles. Hmm. I know. I love it. But now, you know, since I've gotten older and my metabolism, it gave a two-week notice three weeks ago. It just quit on me. But it just quit on me years ago, to be quite honest. So um, I just eat little portions of it. You know, instead of eating the three pancakes, I'll have one pancake and maybe two slices of whatever kind of bacon is around. Oh, I love my bacon. We ready. We ready. I do. I don't care. It, it could be any kind of bacon. Okay, it could be turkey bacon. It could be pork bacon. Go on, sit down on it, Rich. Because, you know, Rich, my best friend, he hates it when I eat pork bacon. He's like, what are you putting in your mouth? It's pork bacon. Go on and sit down on it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. He looks at me like Solange looks at Beyonce when Beyonce eats ribs. Because, you know, Solange is a tofu eating somebody. And when Beyonce, look, look at Beyonce thighs. Y'all don't think she eat ribs? Go on and sit down on it. And you know when Beyonce be eating those ribs, she tilts to the side a little bit because she don't want Solange to see her. And Solange be in the background like, mm -hmm, I see you, Beyonce. You need to eat some veggie burgers. And Beyonce be like, girl, I like these ribs. I want to sit down on it. So, um, I, that, like I said, back in the day, that was my favorite memory. Of, um, waking up wanting to see the Flintstones and um, eat my pancakes and orange juice and things like that. Oh, do you remember Rubik's? Remember the Rubik's Cube? And then they also had a cartoon of Rubik's. I used to love Rubik's as well. And the Smurfs and um, remember G-Force. And that was pretty much it. I wasn't a huge cartoon person. Um, back in the day, I don't know. I was just crazy creative. Like um, coloring and drawing and listening to music and putting together harmonies and just jamming. Like I can like look back and say, oh, I used to be jamming by myself. It used to be on and popping. Holla. So um, it wasn't until I got older and um, I started understanding what the gift that God gave me was about, you know, so far in reference to dance. Because at one point I was just real, you know, happy day-ish. I had no no beat um, up until probably the sixth grade and then once I got into the seventh grade something kicked in like my autopilot it started getting like that and me and little Larry and um, Sebastian and all my friends we all got together and we just started dancing and developing our our craft and our skills and um, that's when I started learning how to dance and putting it together and then I realized you can get paid for dancing. We do. Oh my goodness. So after I graduated, I started dancing with dance troops and doing different choreography and, um, and just dancing and getting paid. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is like what a life. And all you, you do, you get paid for stretching, eating, and dancing. 
something I love to do. And you get to stay in beautiful hotels and meet amazing people and work with amazing people. And it was just kind of cool. So looking back, I'm like, oh, I was so blessed that I had that opportunity to do that. And I don't have a desire to do it now. Now I do want to uh, make people like laugh and I've transitioned my, my dancing and choreography and if you will um, to comedy and um, you know because once you're an artist you're always an artist it's kind of like once you go black you never go back to whatever the sands are and once you have a car you don't ever want to walk again and all the sands so once you're an artist you're you know you're an artist so um, I took that energy and I had a lot of energy for dance and a lot of passion for dance oh my goodness like there would be times when the beat would just kick over me when I'm dancing no matter what kind of dance it is I mean I did all kinds of dance but um, in African dance and that June June and that Jim Bay is kicking and I just be popping like and I'm like something's gonna pop out and and even the drummers would be like oh my goodness like he is going off okay it's just something inside and thank you Barbara Finley um, for taking me to African dance class because like um, I that was the first time I got introduced to African dance and she took me to Imani African Dance Company dance class and I was two left feet no I was three I was four left feet I was like I'm not coming back here because I'll never be able to get it and she was like uh-huh yes you can yes you can you can get anything don't you ever say you can't oh Barbara Finley I love you and then I start listening to the beats and the rhythms and then I start doom 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 and then I start transitioning my hip hopness from this side of my brain and incorporated it with the African dance and then I mix them together and that's why sometimes in my videos you'll see some hip hop mixed with African because that's the way I kind of like learned it in my mind so holla at a player when you see me in the street hi I don't sit down on it so um, that's like I said the dance and waking up though that's part of my um, memories from the past so like I said you give me some memories of the past and things and I hope there's some pleasant memories that you can share with me and um, maybe it was the first time you had a you got a puppy or your first um, video game whether it was Atari Ooh, am I telling my age space invaders y'all space invaders holla remember Miss Pac-Man centipede and Galactica do 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 Donkey Kong and Mario Brothers hey how like to play when you see me on the street. So anyway, um, <laughs> you know, I'm telling my age right now, okay? But it's all good. Thank you, Lord, for letting me be here right now to talk about it. All right? So um, like I said, give me some stories, comment, and um, I don't know what it is for you. It was the first time you heard a Whitney Houston song. But whatever it is, comment and tell your homeboy Mario Ramon. Um, your story. I would love to hear from you. And I talk to you next time on It's Just Mario. And you know how we do it. We got the jam out of here, right? They morning cartoons ain't come through. Hey. Main Street, Bruce Tonic with the dress. Have you subscribed to the It's Just Mario show? Are you the last one to the party? Okay, it's okay to be the last one to the party. Just show up and look good. And looking good is subscribing. Press the subscribe button, Blue Bears. And also, like the video. Like it below. The little thumb below is liking the video, okay? And I'll see you next time on It's Just Mario. Don't forget, give me your stories. Looking back. Looking back. Looking back. Come on. I'm going to make me some pancakes and orange juice tonight for dinner. That's what I'm going to do. I'm having some pancakes and orange juice. We, I don't even have to do all that fancy stuff. Asparagus and hollandaise sauce and rutabakers. Now give me some pancakes and some orange juice. Do I get some syrup? Okay, so, ooh, I remember when my, my um, foster grandmother, she used to try to um, make me eat alaga syrup. Oh my goodness, alaga syrup? We do. No, I love good old Miss Butterworth. Mm -hmm. And you need to cut off a quarter, a quarter of a butter. I'm trying to do better because I told y'all my metabolism gave a two week notice three weeks ago. So I I just cut a little less butter these days and put it on my pancake and watch it melt. Oh, that's a good.